This is you, or rather, the you from before. Struggling with basic thumbnails, lost in layers, clicking buttons like spells you barely understand. But today, that changes. Because in this video, you're going to unlock some of the most powerful tools in Photopea. Tools that only advanced creators know how to wield. If you want to ascend in the design world, this is your first quest. Have you ever seen a YouTuber put their thumbnail inside of a phone, a TV, or even a billboard and wonder how they got the angle so perfect? It's actually so easy. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the thumbnail of this video and I'm going to put it inside of this billboard. All you have to do is first shrink it to where it's kind of the same size as whatever you're trying to put it inside of. Turn the opacity down just a little bit so you can see through it. I'm going to grab the zoom tool and just zoom in. Go to your move tool, hit Control, Alt, and T, right click on your image and click on distort. Grab each box and drag it into its spot. Once you're done, click that check mark, turn the opacity back up to 100% and you are done. Now you have learned the skill of perspective and now you can do crazy things with it. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, I'm going to show you guys how you can remove the background from any image. I'm going to show you the easy way and the hard way, but the easy way isn't necessarily the best. So once you master all of them, you'll be able to do it with any image. So firstly, get your image here and go up to select and remove BG. It's as simple as that. It should remove the background. Now let's say there's some imperfections and you want to fix them. You'll see over here, it actually created a raster mask. With this, you can use your brush tool. Make sure you have white and black. One removes and one adds. Then you can just adjust the brush size with Alt and right click. And you can start to like fade out the edges if it left something out. Like let's say you didn't want the hairs to be like this. You could do that or you can add it back with the other color. Just make sure your raster is selected. Let's say we wanted to make him bald. It's as simple as that. Now it looks pretty weird, so we're not going to do that. So that's the first way. Now let's say you do this way, but it leaves some stuff. You can try another attempt. Click on this picture again and click select and remove background again. Then it could fix it the second time around. If not, you're going to have to do something a little bit more complicated which I'm gonna show you right now. So this is honestly the best way to do it, but it takes more time. Go to the bottom left of your screen and click on pen or click P on your keyboard. Then you're gonna to wanna to use the zoom tool to zoom in on certain spots. Grab your pen tool and start on the outside of the image and follow the curvature of the character the best you can. Left click to make a point, hold left click and drag to make a little little thang and just do this all the way around your character now the hairs it gets complicated i'm gonna be honest so what you could do is you could just go around the whole thing and then use the brush tool and try to brush out these little gaps later that's what i would do see that you can go around the curvature of his uh his dome now if it gets all weird and your next point starts to make a weird curve just hold alt and click on that point and then start your next point Ideally, the remove BG button works because it's so much easier, but if it doesn't, you might have to do this. And then just go all the way back around to the first point, go up to make and selection, click OK, and then hit Control J. Now, if we zoom out, you'll see over here, there's two layers now. One of them is the original image and the other one is him cut out. So now you're at this point, right? and you want to fix some of the, the hair and whatnot, go down here and click on Add Raster Mask. It's the same situation as before. So use your brush tool and kind of fade it out. The hair is complicated. I'm not going to lie. It's going to take some time. Now, here's a little bonus way you can do this. I would not recommend doing it this way. If you add a raster mask, you can just use your brush tool for all of it. But it is situational, you know? I mean, this could work in some situations, but, you know, I wouldn't recommend it being your primary way to do it but it is pretty quick if you want to make some quick edits next up we have face swap so i'm going to be using the same image as before and this picture honestly i don't know who these people are so hopefully they're no one bad but uh anyways you want to get your original image here and then you want to get the image of the person you want to put on the other person turn the opacity of this top one down a little bit and try matching it with the face below okay that should be good enough then go down to the bottom right and add a raster mask. Then hit Control I to invert it. Now, whenever you use your brush tool and you use white, 
it'll bring in the image. And if you make it softer, well, you know, that's what happens. So it's kind of creepy, but it's a super quick way to do it. At this point, the colors don't match, so you can do some things to make it match a little bit more. Go into your channels, go to red, go up to image adjustments and brightness and contrast, and turn it down until it matches the original skin. So like around here, do the same for uh, green and then do the same for blue. It's kind of tricky. So now, as you can see before and after it matches a lot more. Okay. <laughs> what is this? I don't know what monster I created, but that's an easy way to do a face swap. And honestly, you can even use what we learned from the first one and use a uh, distort and you could distort it if you were better than me, because I can't seem to do it. You could even distort it and like fit it to his face perfectly, right? If you guys paid attention to that, then uh, yeah, you'll have to do that because that'll make it look even better. This poor old man is just a test subject for my video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the liquify tool. Go up to filter and click on liquify. This is where things get a little scary, but you could make this guy a Chad. So with this top left tool, you can hold left click and really destroy stuff. Or you can sculpt his jaw, maybe give him a little smile. Look at that. He looks like he's like, <laughs> he's got, this guy, you know what I mean? It's kind of funny. <laughs> or um, what else? You point his nose downward. You know, make him Pinocchio or something. Look at that. He's he's looking like a goblin. Give him giant earlobes. Make his eyebrow go even higher. Look, he's like, hmm. But okay, okay. Let's say we're not trying to make him look like an absolute animal. Let's say you're just trying to correct, you know, a crooked smile. You know, be real subtle with it. Now he's a little bit happier. Or you want to maybe lift an eyebrow for whatever reason. Or even, you know adjust the size and all this stuff and you can even like slim his jaw a little bit you know like let's say yeah like make him look leaner i couldn't help myself guys this guy is a giga chad anyways let's move on to the next one next up i'm going to show you guys how you can remove blemishes like acne and whatever else this is super important if you do photo editing it's so freaking easy guys you have no idea okay so all you want to do is go to the left right then you're going to want to click through all these menus until you find the right one well the right one is right here and it's called spot healing brush tool it's kind of the same as the brush tool so you can make it softer bigger huge whatever anyways make it a little bit bigger than the size of the blemish and all you want to do is click on the blemish oh my gosh guys no way there's no way it's that easy right well it actually is that easy maybe make it even bigger this is this might go wrong yep but I can just fix that. I can just fix that. There we go. Okay, I was hoping that would work. You know what I mean? Now he has some hair on his upper cheek, so. You know, okay, but it's great for blemishes, okay? I would stick with smaller spots, because if you get big, you know, his ear might appear in his eyeball, or his nose might appear in his hair. You just don't like this. Like, what? what is this? Okay, so you want to be careful with it, but it gets the job done, and it's perfect. Next up, I'm going to show you guys smart objects. This is literally your insurance policy. This will make sure that any changes made to the original image will remain unchanged in a separate um, project. Now you can do whatever you want, right? You can, you can make this guy look like an absolute monster, okay? But it doesn't matter because if you right click on it and convert it to a smart object, well, hold on, you should have done that first. Before you do anything, right click on it, convert it to a smart object. Then you'll see here is a separate layer with it in it, the original state. Okay, so do that before you do anything if you want to keep its original state intact. Then you can do whatever you want. It's really just a safety net. Oh my, next up is Magic Replace. Now, Adobe Stock's not going to stop me from using this image. So here's how you do it. On the left, find it, right? That's the first step, obviously. Then what you want to do is select the area you want to change. Like, let's say we want to give him a knife, okay? Then click replace. Now it's really situational when it works good, but when it works good, it works good. Now this knife looks a little strange, but now he's a killer. He's a psychopath. Look at him. Before it's like, oh, hey, how's your Sunday going? And then next thing you know, it's like, give me your money. So I don't know. I think it's a really cool tool and you can really use it to your advantage. You can also use it to remove things. Now let's just remove the knife. Okay, remove. 
Watch this crap, guys. This is insane. Any day now, bud. It did not work, but now he's an alcoholic. But sometimes remove does work, okay? Like if you want to remove his eyeball, I'm sure that would work, right? Let's just say eyeball. Oh, who else? Eyeball. Just click remove and see if it removes his eyeball. And I can see it didn't work either. So remove is a little shoddy, but sometimes it does work, I promise. So at this point, you've learned techniques that most people never unlock. But remember, knowing a skill doesn't make you stronger. Applying it does, okay? So if you guys want to master these skills, you're going to have to practice. Now, here's your side quest for today. Create a design using at least two of the techniques you learned today. For example, remove a background using the background remove or even the pen tool. Just incorporate some of the stuff from this video into a project. Once you do that, you're going to level up. Before you go, don't forget to check out my website for tons of bonus content like my exclusive courses, graphics packs, and socials like my Discord server. If you want to level up your designs even faster, consider joining the Canva Creates channel membership. You'll get access to a folder packed with hundreds of effects, copyright-free music, and more to take your content to the next level. Hit that join button or check the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep creating.